my name is Yang. I'm an artist from Portland, Oregon. I was born and raised in China. I left when I was 12. I came to um, New York when I in the early 80s. I went to junior high school, high school, and college. And after that, I went to work for Disney for 14 years. My first film was Pocahontas. My last film was Princess and the Frog. After that, I moved up here uh, in uh, 2009 to raise my kids. Yeah, so I, I, I always knew I wanted to draw. Uh, I went to an art high school back in New York, and then after following that, I went to Pratt Institute. I studied illustration, and I got a job with Disney for uh, as a. Um, to work on animated films. And then after that, I decided to move to Portland to raise my kid. As an artist, it's extremely difficult to get a job. So I was offered a job um, right at the college. I I didn't have any second thought. I just decided to just take on the job. And it was really a good experience for me. I, I was able to, to learn a lot from very talented artists from different parts of the world. And, uh, but then once I have my family, it's, uh, it's a different story. I, I feel like it's, I need to focus on my family. It's not about, it's a, to be able to have some choices to do stuff that you love to do, so you're, you're passionate about. And it, it has nothing to do with, uh, how much money you have, how big of a house you, you live, because all of that's, um, it's, it, you can't take it with you. Uh, but living the moment to really be honest with yourself and what is it that, that makes you happy and do something to follow your passion. I think having kids having uh, to it shifts your 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 focus when you when you are especially for artists too sometimes artists can be very selfish like oh I want to do this you know this is what I want but then I had having, having kids um, you realize that it, it's it's not just about you and having a lot of money may not, may not, like, what, if you give your kid all the money, if you, like, have all the, but sometimes that may, that, that may not be the best way. Uh, um, I feel like having to focus on your kids and making sure that they have the right, attitude the right uh, um, upbringing the right habits and so that way they can take care of themselves and to me that is more important than having to go to a job and make a lot of money and then don't care about your family i guess don't um don't have that connection with your kids with your family i know steve Jobs said that if you you need to find something that you're passionate about find something that you love to do even if nobody pays you. I feel like that is something that just should come out naturally. And, and not you don't need to worry about money. I, 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 I know <laughs> this is contrary to, to our Asian culture, but, but I think it's very important to, to just do that because, because as soon as you, you, you start thinking like, oh, I'm gonna do this so I can make money, that, that it changes the just changes everything because you're doing it for money you're not doing it for the love of that i remember talking to my younger son and, and i said when you do something just don't do it because you do it for your parents do it because you love to do it and when you when you do that you can spend the same amount of time to do the same thing but the results going to be very different because of the attitude and uh, I, I'm so happy. One, like he just he got it. So, and then it, it, it has something to do with the way he practices the piano. And I said, Evan, you gotta, 
you gotta do it with your heart. And then his piano teacher noticed that right away. It, and, and so that made me really, really happy. Milan was in 1999, maybe, 1999. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I was a layout artist. A layout artist, basically, it's somebody who designed the, the background of the, of the film. So anything that you see, if, uh, if a sequence takes place in the snowy mountains, we have, we have to design the, the, the mountain, we have to come up with the shots, uh, uh, the different cuts, how to make sure that the continuity, make sure that they all work just like... Uh, so I guess the, the, the best uh, I can explain this is when you watch a, a live action movie, it would be... A layer artist would be equivalent to a cinematographer, and but the cinematographer they have lighter, they have all kinds of. But uh, a layer artist, we draw them. We actually, in some cases, we, we model that in, in the computer. So, but this is before computer, so everything was hand drawn. Live life and uh, appreciate the present moment. Sometimes uh, we're so caught up in, in our daily life and, and not living the moment. And, oh, how come I didn't do this? And I, I, I feel like I am so lucky and, and, and privileged to have that kind of time with my kids because now my kids are almost a teenager now and, and in a few more years, They'll be off to college and uh, who knows. So I really want to enjoy the moment, uh, not getting caught up in worry about paying bills and all this stuff that, that or, or getting caught up in, 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 in things that is just so unimportant at the moment and, 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 and forget the, to enjoy that moment. I feel like sometimes it's so easy for us to get caught up in, 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 in life that we forget to become that, to, to be grateful and to be thankful and mindful. And those are the things that are very important to me. I find myself gravitate towards people that are very honest and not um, less pretentious. I feel like working in, in Hollywood has sometimes, but you, you kind of have to, I guess. And um, now doing what I do, and I, I feel like honesty and and just be, um, be yourself. I think um, somebody rather than just, um, and this is the thing that I I I I, I want to teach my kids to, to um, you have to be really honest with yourself and don't always take you, you gotta give you gotta give it only when you're giving that's when you start to see outside of yourself and, and I, I feel like I as I mature I think that is a very important element that I look for in a friendship. Not just somebody just, hey, me, what do I get? What, it's, it's, it's about give and take. And, and that's when you realize that this world is a lot bigger. It doesn't have to be about you.